All right, good. All right, so we've got uh, acceleration of blocks and tension of the rope. It's a frictionless surface. Every object, and when you have multiple objects, every single object gets its own free body diagram. So start by drawing a free body diagram for both objects. Start with a 15 kilogram object. What force? Gravity always. It is a rope, so we'll just call it that. Any other forces on that object? Friction. Friction. Okay. So before we do any math with that, we'll go to the other object and do its free body diagram. What does it got? Force. F of P. And tension the other way. Now these two tensions are the same. Newton's third law says that if one object pulls on another, Object pulls on it with the same amount of force, but in the opposite direction. Sorry, third law. We did the third law. So now that we've got our free body diagram, we can really ignore what we've seen in the problem and just solve for free body diagrams as, as we would normally do. Start with the easy one. Start with the forces. What does that mean? Which direction do we care about in this problem? The x. That's the direction of the acceleration, so let's start there. Try to solve it the easiest way possible first. What force is what we have in the x direction? Tension. Anything else? Nothing else. So that force must be equal to ma. Tension equals the mass of the object, 15 kilograms, and the acceleration. We're stuck. We have two variables and only one equation. So what do we do? We go to the other object. So what's the free body diagram indicate here? Which direction, x or y? x again, because that's the direction of the acceleration. What forces? Which is positive? Force is a push, y. Why is that positive? is positive. Now we don't want to say travel because an object can be going to the right and accelerating to the left if it's slowing down. Right? That's so crazy. Alright. Uh, force of the push minus T equals MA. So those are the only two forces in the X direction so they must equal M MA too. Force of the push Newton's tension, 15 times A, but let's hold off on that for right now. Mass, times A. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. How well can you do algebra? <laughs> if you've got a cast, you can do it without any problem. No. How, how we do this is we do a substitution. We know that tension here is 15A. Because tension in both free body diagrams is the same, we can do the substitution. 15A, same for tension. So let's do that. 30 newtons minus 15A equals 20 kilograms times A. Write the kilogram down here. Saw that before? 30 equals 35A. Uh huh. And what's that? 30 over 35. Whatever that is. 